Yeah. Yeah. But it has just died down just ever so slightly. Yeah. Yeah, nicely done. I'll go and do this with the paint, <laughs> <laughs> I think there's some of the toilet roll in the room. Yeah. <laughs> Well done. There's a nice little green drop there and <laughs> actually Tim he doesn't realise he just didn't, you know, because uh, he had his eyes shut. <laughs> <laughs> At least if he wasn't screaming. <laughs> yeah, not this time. <laughs> what is this now then? It must be ten, doesn't it? Um, more than that I'd have thought. But it was the fact that it's the gust that comes between it but just as you came down you did the they had the wing drop but then as you touched it just calmed for a second or two but yeah there's got quite a blow to it it, it actually was bad in there because you're just doing it well yeah you're just you're just busy you're just doing what you need to do aren't you you know you don't have a chance to think about it really Well, I, when, when I come over the top, I, I see them as people. I, oh, there's somebody on the runway. Oh, no, it's not. It's a tree. I, I never look at them because I think, oh, my, yeah, if you look at it, you'll probably hit it. So I tend to look the other <laughs> yeah. way. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's got an interesting yeah, wine yeah, to it. Yeah, <laughs> but you, you say you say Finland. There was there was something when when you all came to Tibbenham that day. Tibbenham, that was Tibbenham. Because yeah. John and I stayed there because we knew it was getting bad. Yes, yes. But by the sound of it, you lot all landed at the same time and we're going. <laughs> some went off to the left, some went off to the right, some carried straight on. <laughs> yes, that was a, that was quite a tough landing. Yeah. But yeah, so Cynthia sort of predicted it was going to be a bit windy then this morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and your captain said, no, it's fine, it's fine, yeah, not a problem. Colour there, still a little bit lighter on the other side. It certainly it's sounded, sort of around the edge. It sounded good. I'm going to take this one out. Then reaching it a little more. Try it again. Happy with that? It's getting better. Have another look. Get the bugs out again. Up with the colour. Okay. Okay. There's a 
bit of town coming on there, so we're getting closer. I don't know if you can see that. So if you pull that through, you'll find that we've got three good three Before good ones. Do, double check that the mags are turned off. Mags are definitely off. Key is are you out. Sure? I am definitely sure. Right. Okay. Right. See, there's three good ones, isn't there? And then a nothing. There's nothing there. No. Right. Now the next thing then is we're going to look at this pot because I think that's a, that particular one. Yeah. All right. So we'll have a look at that and see if it's got any compression in it, and we'll we'll know in a, a, a whisk. We we'll go go from there. Yeah. As I said, I I think it's going to be this one. Yeah. But it's dead simple because all we've got to do is loosen the plug. Yep. And uh, if if it's um, the rest of them are still all, all, you know, got compression. We that know it's going to be that one. We prove it's that one. If not, we'll have to go one by one. Okay. Right. I'll pass you the spanner up. When, when you um, use these things like this to take these plugs out, just a tip, right? If you start wrenching on it, you tend to rock it. And okay. that's the best way of, of breaking a porcelain... Yep. Um, coating on, on the thing and it, I find it best just to go like give that give it a quick tap yep. yeah it's pretty black yep not unusual right but um, I'm going to see what happens when you do a wind right so uh, I'm just going to wind the others open so if you ever do this be very very careful because it they can get jammed mm -hmm. so if you if we're looking for top see we're talking Yeah, you've got to be careful the way you turn it. That's the bottom. And yeah, well, what we're doing is we're going to just do a compression test on each of them now, just to establish exactly which is the one that was causing the problem, which was soft. We did think it might have been the one that John's working on now, but we're not 100% sure. So the best way to do it is just test them all, which is what we are about to do. And right now. Th this, do you want to do? Yeah. This is the piece of equipment that we're going to use, and they'll probably they should come somewhere around about here, and they should be fairly equal. Okay. And what that will do is that will see if there's any leakage through. Yeah. And you get that by putting that on there. All right. So now, what we've got to do is we've got to fire up the compressor. We did fire up the compressor, but for some reason the testing gauge just didn't work. It was something that we'd done tons of times before, but it just didn't want to play ball. So we covered everything up, 
and just left it as it was. It's been a long day and the weather wasn't particularly nice. I would like to have reported the outcome, but it's now Thursday evening and I need to produce what I have got. Uh, it's therefore very much still work in progress and I'm afraid it's another week without any of my flying content. Well, with the exception of Martin's excellent landing in those blustery conditions. So if you got this far, thank you very much. Well done. And uh, hopefully I'll have something for you next week.